podcast. So it's been a little while since I've added any new videos. Um, got a little bit of a cold right now, but we're going to try to work through this. Um, so I've got a Fluke 179. The milliamp function um, suddenly stopped working. Um, so what happened, I was checking uh, milliamp circuitry on a control circuit for a VFD. I forgot to swap my meter leads around. Forgot to change my toggle switch over. Then I went right to checking some line volts. Popped the fuse. So maybe you have the same situation. Maybe you've got a, a meter that the, the amp function or the milliamp function no longer works. There's a good chance that you popped the fuse. Super easy to fix. All we needed to do is flip our meter over on its front side. We'll extract these Phillips head screws. All right, all four of those are out. Remove the battery cover. Then we can flip the meter back over. Gonna be careful not to lose those screws. There goes another one. We're just going to pop the cover off the meter. So it'll let us. There we go. Okay. So that's going to come apart and expose both of our fuses. Okay. So what we will want to do now is take another meter. And if you haven't diagnosed your, your blown fuses yet, this would be when you do that. So that fuse is open, that fuse is closed, okay? So this fuse um, normally runs about 40, 45 bucks. Um, I did find a comparable replacement um, from Klein Tools. Um, I think this one costs like 20 bucks. Um, has all the same specs. Um, it's even made by the same manufacturer, made by Little Fuse Company. So we'll take a little flathead and pop our fuse out. I'm gonna be careful not to damage anything, of course. Let's get this fuse here. And here's our new fuse. We'll compare the two right quick. FLU 44 slash 100A, and then 1,000 volts AC slash DC, 1,000 volts AC slash DC. Okay, so these are the same fuse. Both fast acting. We should be good. I'm going to pop that fuse in. And just for good measure, we'll double check it. All right, that fuse is good. So we'll just take our cover. And put it on there. front side, the battery cover back in place, and snug it down. And be careful not to over tighten it, of course, because it is plastic. I know somebody's going to be in the comments asking me why I'm using a power tool to do this, but it's going to be okay. It's going to be all right. We'll snug that down, and one more to go. And now once we get all four of these snug down, we just want to check and make sure the seam is nice and tight all the way around. Notice how we got a little bit of a gap right there that actually needs to be tightened out a little bit more. Okay. okay. Now see we tighten that gap up and we're all good. Alright, hope this video helps you. Um, if it did, please like and subscribe. We'll see you on the next one. Thanks.